Tux delicious. So basically, it's the modern cupcake that you eat with a spoon. So you dig right deep into the layer. Of, um, there's six layers of filling, frosting, and cake. And it's made to eat with the spoon. And then the containers, you can eat some today and save some for tomorrow. It keeps it really moist. Um, I wanted to do cupcakes, but it had to be something really different. And I don't like that when you bite a traditional cupcake, you can't get everything in one bite. And it's really messy. And sometimes like you feel kind of silly eating it in front of people. And I have a weird thing of eating things with spoons. So I had the name, I think, in my head for a long time. And then it just came together with the box and something that you could travel. You know, it travels easily and stays fresh, so. You can now order them online. We ship nationwide now, so you can do that. This is our only kind of retail spot. Um, you call us, we do, we specialize right now mainly in events. So we do a lot of weddings and birthday parties and things like that that we do, which we can customize the boxes with pictures, toppers. <laughs> we can do like individual sayings for each person. Um, we're called Flower Girls Baking Company, and uh, we're at a Marion, and we have a food truck that goes around to all the different festivals, and uh, here's a double chocolate chip cookie, and right next to it we have our classic chocolate chip. We have a oatmeal cranberry today, and a ginger molasses. We're also participating in the Plymouth Farmer's Market, and we're uh, stationed outside of Tabor Academy in Marion. We are a non-profit organization uh, called Church Finds of Cape Cod, and our cause is the National Congregational Church, and this is an ongoing year-round fundraiser for them. We're all volunteers, and we sell the best chicken pies and turkey pies on Cape Cod. And you can see from the pictures, we have, uh, we have three, four sizes, and there's no bottom crust to keep the calories down. And we're doing a very good business. We're in 19 stores now, and we've only been in this business for over 25 years, and they've sold more than 25 million, and they're all USDA approved. Very important factor when you're dealing with chicken. Yeah. We have a lot of uh, locally grown uh, produce uh, from uh, Dartmouth, Massachusetts uh, at Silverbrook Farm. Um, we also have uh, produce from uh, Maddie's Orchards and other farms in the area. Where we can't grow, we get within a 50 mile radius of the farm. Uh, we have uh, farm fresh eggs, uh, free range chickens, uh, free different types. Um, a lot of good, healthy, fresh produce that we're trying to give to the, uh, the people of Austerville. We, have, um, we have actually have a decent uh, variety of uh, lettuce. I think we have like three different types today. We have uh, Boston lettuce, uh, purple lettuce, like two different types of purple lettuces. Um, we have broccoli. Um, we have early leeks right here. Uh, these are grown on the farm. We have we planted about like 120,000 of them. We just started actually harvesting our uh, our onions. We have red onions and uh, white onions that I didn't bring today. We also have our jams too that we make fresh on the farm. Uh, when strawberry season was in uh, was in full boom. Uh, whatever we didn't sell at the, any markets, we brought back, and at the end of the week, we would um, just produce like a massive amount of uh, strawberries. Um, all of these are made fresh on the farm, um, either this year or last year. It's all vacuum sealed, so it's all fresh. Hi, I'm Mila. This is Momo's. We're located in East Sandwich, right on Route 6A near Sandy. Next, what we have here today is representative of what you'll find in our shop. We have an incredible assortment of um, cupcakes, wonderful deluxe bars like our chocolate oatmeal bar. Cupcakes such as pink lemonade, Madagascar vanilla. Our sides here are, um, are the kind of great treat to take to the beach or when you're entertaining. We have Thai noodles. We have Mediterranean. Couscous. We have curry chickpea salad. We make a phenomenal granola. And then in addition to that, we also have a wonderful homemade focaccia breads that are really incredible right out of the bakery. Homemade strawberry almond scones. And then we also do an incredible amount of catering. So um, it's a full, you know, soup to nuts kind of a shop. We want to feature a local artist. Um, we're happy to say that uh, we've had wonderful um, response to that. And they cover all different kinds of mediums. Um, this month we have a wonderful coastal artwork show of three different artists, glass, um, pastels, as well as um, ink and graphics. So, in action, so everything is complete.
prepared there. We have deliveries daily from local produce um, vendors as well as working with um, a lot of local shops for um, seasonings and things like that. Um, we've certainly had local cranberries, um, needless to say. Uh, and everything is made fresh every day. On Main Street in Austin, we actually have outposts at the Cahoon Museum, the JFK Museum, and the Barnesville Historical Society. And every Friday we come to the Farmer's Market at the Austin Museum with authors. And we're food for thought, everybody else is food for the valley. And today we have three lovely authors. Katie Moose has come over from Nantucket. She's a cookbook author out of Nantucket and Annapolis, and she has three ones, two on the Chesapeake Bay, two on New England, and God's Valley for every day. I've also got a couple of guidebooks, and I'm in the process of writing an international cookbook for every country around. We have here. Hi, my name is Joe Palmer, and I'm a library director in Ohio that comes to the Cape every year. And my, I've written two mur murder mysteries, and they take place in Osterville, Centerville, and Hyannisport. And uh, it's uh, an Italian immigrant family that comes over and makes it big, and then they kind of fight over the family fortune. It's, it's a wonderful thing. I've not been here before. I've been coming to the Cape for 40 years, and uh, I guess it's just been the last four years, so I'll be coming every year. And I'm a photographer and a pilot. And I have, uh, I've been flying for probably about 15 years, and I, I, I live off Cape on the South Shore. And I recently just produced this, this book of aerial photos of the Cape, which, yeah, as Beautiful. you can see, there are lots of places you can recognize. And um, if you can, this one, this is um, Sandy Neck um, in Barnstable. I did this so that you could see the photos in the beginning. They're quotes from aviators that are in here. So you can get the sense of flight and the excitement and the risk and the thrill of it. Wonderful. And at the back, um, in case you really want to know where all these places are, I have an index. So you can you can see just exactly where these particular locations are. It's a gorgeous, we live in a beautiful part of the world and this is really fun to do. I enjoy it so much.